Get your shit together, big home. Look, before we even get started, I want to send a special fucking shout out, dog. If you are one of my patrons, dog, I fucking salute you. Like I said, I really do believe in that um, Tyreek Nasheed theory. Um, I mean, I think, I don't, I don't know, I think he got it from fucking somebody, what the fuck he got it from, but I got it, I heard him say it, um, all you need is a strong 300 people and you can do any fucking thing, dog, um, I salute y'all, y'all are actually getting it, getting me to a point to where I, like, I see how serious y'all are, this is one of the biggest reasons why I am doing this new diet, doing this new fucking, I, I didn't change my whole life around as far as my schedule. Uh, got a membership at the Y, going there every day, meeting people, personal trainers and shit like that. Just really working my ass off, trying to get prepared uh, for the next step. Um, Y'all have shown me that we do have enough power to go to the next level. A lot of these people on YouTube are gonna have to stay on YouTube Forever, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they can't stand on their own. We can, as AO Nation. Um, I'm so grateful that we were able to build something online that now we can take into the fucking real world. Um, that's not just the men to move, and that's not just the rap trap uh, theory that's being turned into a documentary. That's not just the stupid rapper show. That's not just the three S's, which is going to be turned into an audio book. Um, the Big Facts podcast. It's it's just crazy as fuck. Um, the shit that we are doing as a fucking nation, as a o nation, is is strolled the fuck off. And I have to salute y'all. Um, if you're a patron, um, you're getting all the videos. If there's not a video that you're missing. If you are just someone who likes the show, I salute you. Um. But right now, until I get my schedule back on track, um, to where I'm, I got my hours, and it's probably gonna take like a week. We're not doing those small stories. If it ain't big stories, we're not fucking with it. We're not doing that petty shit. We're doing real stories, period, point blank. It's not no real story, some shit that we can really talk about. All that bullshit, gossip, bullshit. We're not rocking with that bullshit. We we never have. I'm somebody. If it ain't no big story to where we can really reach people we're not rocking with it so um and then once we do do a story it's not a guarantee that it will be listed on youtube but as a patron you're guaranteeing yourself that you won't miss anything all you have on patreon you can give a dollar and be a patron if you want to be a lieutenant and you know have more control of the direction of the show and shit like that and be more of a member uh, you you can be it's five dollars and up, but one dollar pledging a dollar a month for some shit that you watch every day. That's I don't know who I don't know who I don't know what situation you may be in to where you can't. But you know, all my patrons we're rocking. Pure point blank. Um, and y'all know how we do it. Every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where we shout out all the people who show love, all the people who um, make sure that the show continues to roll forward. Um, I can't express enough how much this means, not only to me, but to the Felicity. Felic I like it a lot, nigga. You know what the fuck it is. And it helps the show get bigger. Um, it helps me do the things that I need to do behind the scenes, whether it be um, getting in touch with a new graphic designer or fucking, you know, um, uh, getting in touch with the, the, the right people before I go to the big networks. Because, but you know, um, go to the Patreon, you'll find out exactly what we're doing with uh the rap the biggest thing we got right now is the rap trap theory uh documentary that pilot will be giving to will be shout out 
to uh, four major streaming services. Um, and we go from there. Uh, the three S's, audio book. I'm thinking about doing it actually instead of an audio book. If it's not an audio book, um, I really want to do the audio book because I feel like it'll be easier for people to understand. If we have to do the, you know, the um, soft, oh, I, I don't even know what the fuck you call them motherfuckers, you know, the, but not the hard, hard book with the soft book. I should probably know more about it than that. But, because I, I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know about it because I don't, um, I'm thinking audio book. You know what I'm saying? But y'all give me, y'all holler at me, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think and shit like that. Everything's in the pot right now. But uh, let's go ahead and get started, man. Um, y'all know what it is. J. Amir Music, LLC. Once again, habitual uh, supporter. Always showing love. Doesn't really say much. Just show love. Um, I still don't know how to fucking... I'm telling you, dog. Most of the people on this list, man, it is, it's people that... You, I think we got a couple of uh, new uh, people, but these are mostly the same, you know, people who've been making sure that everything is on the up and up. Um, Deja Hodges, Deja Hodges. I should, I, I'm sure you told me how to say your name, but um, Deja Hodges. Um, show love, no words, just show love. I appreciate that, Deja. Uh, Money on the track. Uh, that's you know the. Um, a producer that has been fucking with the show. I think that um, he was having a little trouble with the three S's, but after um, semi-mastering the three S's, he really got his producing on the road, and uh, he says, just sold second beat, slow motion better than no motion. You changed my life, big home. My nigga. Salute, money. Keep doing your thing, my nigga. Keep doing your thing. And hit me up, man. Let's get some of them beats on the show or something like that. Hit me. Um, Ashton Brown. Ashton Brown showed a lot of love. And he said, overdue. Overdue. I appreciate that, Ashton. Because, you know, you get a lot of folks who will, you know, sit back and watch the show. And you got, you got some folks who won't even comment because they don't. They feel like, man, I, I'm posing. You know, I don't even want to say nothing until I can, you know what I'm saying, rock with them and shit like that. And I have to salute that. That, that is definitely honorable. Um, shout out to King Erna. Um, and I definitely respect that. So, Ashton, I really do appreciate that. I'm glad you got your situation together to where you did have something extra to support the show. So, shout out to you. Uh, Christopher Brown. Christopher Brown, I think I, I heard that name before. So, Christopher, I appreciate that, my nigga. He ain't saying nothing. He just uh, showed his love. Um, I have all my hand right See if I don't even need to do that because the damn... Last time I did that shit, the camera ain't fucking refocused. So, let's, let's make sure we get it focused. Alright, should be focused. But I have all my hand right Um... You know there is Ramville King. Ramville King. That's what there is. Shout out to Ramville King. Ramville says bless up. Ramville is another habitual donator, uh, supporter. So shout out to Ramville. I hope I'm saying that. Yeah, it's Ramville. That's what it is. Uh Darren Clark. Darren Clark. Um Darren, and you remind me of my nigga um on the uh, Twisted Tongue podcast. But his name is Mark Bush. So Darren Clark says, keep doing what you do, bro. I will do that. Oh, and Darren showed big, big love. And uh, Darren, if you did not get your um, if you didn't get your um, your copy of Winning Street, let me know. Hit me up. Hit me up on my Instagram. If you want to talk to me, go to the Instagram or the Facebook. And I, I guess it'll be best to go to the Instagram because people for some it's like so many Ao Canseco pages up. Um, I try to show y'all what Ayo Canseco page to go to. Like the thumbnail is is me cartooning. All you can see is like my face right here. But it's so many fucking pages. Um, but if 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 
anything, any questions you have, just make an Instagram, you know what I'm saying, and uh, hit me. Um, or you can, uh, another uh, easy way that you can guarantee getting in touch with me is um, do a cash app or a PayPal of a dollar or some shit like that and just say what you have to say and then I'll give you my email or something like that. The email is always actually in the description box. So you can go um, down there and, and go to the email address also. But the email, I, I, I mean, that should be so full. But just, just try it. Um, so I can, so we can see what's going on with you. Because if anything that you maybe paid for if, and you didn't get whatever like that, I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Um, it's the easiest thing to do. But shout out to you, Dan. I appreciate that little real talk, my nigga. Uh, Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor. I think that's a new one. Uh, Charles Taylor doesn't say anything, but he shows his love. And I appreciate that, Charles. Real talk. Um, Greg Richardson. Another new one. Greg Richardson. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's new people coming in the door. Uh, or uh, maybe you, you, you're you not new, but you're just being able. I'm, and, that, and what that shows to me is progression. Um, and I would like to think that um, since you've been watching the show, you know, I've been that voice in your ear telling you, get this shit together, man. Get your shit together. Get your shit together, man. Stop playing with this shit. Because a lot of times in life, dog, when you're someone like us, a thinker, a, a creator, a dreamer, you know what I'm saying? You don't get a lot of people in your immediate, you know what I'm saying, vicinity that are like you, that understand, you know, what you're going through. Everybody can say, yeah, if you're an entrepreneur, you don't get no sleep. Yeah, if you're an entrepreneur, you got you to gotta sacrifice. But nobody really breaks down what the fuck that means. What the fuck is sacrifice? Sacrifice can mean any fucking thing. But I'm telling you. You need to sacrifice that fucking dope or that alcohol, and dope is weed. Sacrifice them people, whatever, whoever's around you, whoever is around you. If your mama is always talking and, and that's who you enjoy talking to and you'll talk to her for hours and hours and that's what you do, you need to get the fuck away from her. Get something done. So isolate yourself and then shout out to... Um, Wish I fucking is that a who the fuck? Whoever hit me up today and said um, for the stupid people who don't understand the the three S's and understand that the third S they don't understand that theory. Tell them the third S is sexlessness, or uh, I think that's what he said. Sexless? I think he said sexless. Uh, but I would say sexlessness because I want to have a way of being and, and sexlessness is more of a way of being. Um, so get all that shit the fuck out your way and move forward. So with a person, you have the thoughts, you have the, um, you believe in yourself, but you just have these fucking distractions and you will not understand how confident, how focused, and how motivated you'll become once those distractions are out of your way. But, but, in the beginning, you will go through a sense, I'm telling you this so that you don't get disparaged when you hit this. In the beginning, you will hit a stage of, you know, depression and aimlessness like what the fuck am i supposed to be doing like I, you're so used to your life depending on these things like you're used to that resistance you know of if i if i'm not doing this shit for the weed if i'm not doing this shit for the coke if i'm not doing this for the pills what am i doing this for you will go through that stage and it's something that you just have to fight through it will not last it won't last you know what i'm saying so um I'm not going to tell you, don't be scared. Sit down. Sit down, Aki. I see you. I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't be afraid of, um, of the withdrawals that you're going to go through no matter what you let go of. Um, 
because it will. It, it, I mean, it, it can be scary as fuck. I, I can't tell you not to be afraid of it. Only you know how it's gonna feel. But what I can tell you is, once you get to the other side of that, which you will, I can guarantee you that you're gonna come to the other side of it. It's not going to kill you. And I mean, in in the real world, I mean that's everybody say I I ain't scared of death. I ain't afraid to die. All that, nigga. It's a lot of things here on earth that are worse than death. A lot more. After death, there's it's nothing. Did I say that right? Well, there's no more. I mean, it, you, you're done. Your work is done at that point. And, like, while you're here, you have to deal with that. I'm not good enough, man. Look at, look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. It's, look how my children look at me. The weight is lifted once you leave here. So, um, I can definitely understand um, a lot of you guys' message, and it, and it empowers me. It motivates me when I hear stuff like that, and I see progression in, in people's life that actually take what I'm saying, uh, take heed to it. Um, so that was up. That's definitely what's up. Um, so we got Mario. I have to, I mean, I have to. Is that, like, why would I, why would I put a whole, is H, put my hand right in on top of the fact that some of these people are not from America, and some of these people are foreign in Mario Hanasea? Why would I, like, why the fuck, when, you know what it is? When you're writing it down, you know what it is. So you can write it any kind of way you want to. And you're not writing for your future self to be able to read. That's why my fucking board is so fucking sloppy. You're writing it just to get it out of your head. I just need to get it out of my head. But it's like, no, you need to write it so it's legible so that your future self can see it and be able to execute it. So, Mario Hasia, um, he says, AO Nation, fucking right. Welcome to the club, Mario. Uh, here we go, another fucking name. Shardra? Shardra C. Shardra C. C no, S C H A D R A. C. Man, just want to see you win. Be blessed. Just want to see you win, homie. Be blessed. Definitely, man. I appreciate that love, my nigga. Look like a fucking girl name, bro. But I appreciate that. Elliot Young says, dropping much knowledge. I try to do that. I try to do I'm glad you appreciate it, Elliot. Uh, Lewis. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do Louis Love. Louis Lowe. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I got I to gotta start writing this shit better. Louis Lowe or Louis Love, but Louis. He showed some love. I appreciate that, Louis. And I'm going to keep moving. He didn't say no mess. He just got down the road. Uh, Trey Reed. Y'all already know who the fuck that is. Trey. Uh, I think that was probably on the day that we were... Uh, he made sure he come through every time that we go live and shit like that. So, Trey. Um, and we read, and you know, during the live stream, I read out your support. Um, so, we don't read it during the, this, the AO Nation donation conversation. is for the people um, who just, you know, show love on regular days. Just, you know what I'm saying, maybe a Friday, Thursday, whenever, you know what I'm saying, they show love. Um... I just want everybody to, you know, be able to, and if you don't, listen, if you don't want your support read on the AO Nation donation conversation, at the beginning of your note, say no mention. Don't wait till the end of your message to say no mention. Put it in the beginning. That way I know that you're talking to me and not to the people. Even though you're not talking to the people, but I'm just saying if you don't want to be mentioned. 
um, N.J. Watkins. N.J. Watkins says, Big Facts. You fucking right, N.J. Uh, T. Teasy. T. Teasy came through and showed love. Uh, Feral Gamo Fresh. He came through and made sure he dropped some down on us. Uh, Corey Jarrell Parks. And I should know who the fuck that is. Man, I, I, it, it is too much information in my mind. Too much. Like, right now, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the show I want to do on um, the new movie called Hustlers, where I believe Jennifer Lopez is playing... This is Cardi B's documentary, or biopic. And, you know what I'm saying? Jennifer Lopez is playing her. Um, of course, they, they'll say that that's not what that is, but that's just my own thought. And I really want to do this show, but I got that show to do. I got this NFL show to do. And all of them are going on the same fucking channel. So it's like, and I'm not trying to, I don't, that's one thing that I can't have. I'm not, I'm not going to have my shit be fucking cheapened. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I give it to people too much. If anything, I would, you know, scarcity brings value in anything. So I would rather that than, you know, so what, you know, what's going to happen? One of the I'm gonna put out one of the shows, but then the other one is only gonna be on the Patreon. So get to the Patreon. That's the only way that I'll be able to, you know what I'm saying, make sure everything is where it needs to be at. So shout out to Corey Jarrell Parks. I'm so sorry I don't remember what your screen name is. I'm sure you told me many times. Uh Mark 77. Uh, he says, this is for the men, too, and AO Nation. I appreciate that, Mark. We got Darren Sampson, just a habitual uh, supporter. He says, keep grinding, big homes. You already know it, Darren. I ain't going to stop. Um, Mario, here he is again. Mario Hosea. You see, he had a hard name anyway. It was Mario H-O-S-E-A. And he says, podcast. Mario, I appreciate that, my nigga. Um, Trayvon Fields. Trayvon, Travion. Travion Fields came through, showed a lot of love. Travion, I appreciate that, my nigga. That's love, dog. Real talk. Um, and he's new. Uh, Psych L. Psych L. And I just talked to my nigga. Who the fuck is... I think... I know him on Instagram. Um, I, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm fucked up with these names, man. You see, I mean, I do this, come on, man. Like, it, all these fucking names. But he's he, he's part of AO Nation. Um, but, you know, I think he said it. You know what? This is the dude right here. Psych L is the dude who says he going to keep on supporting. And he's a Patreon, but he doesn't, he doesn't consider himself a part of the 300. That's going to, you know, because... He took that 300 statement so serious that he says, I'm going to do everything that I'm supposed to do, support, Patreon, all that, but I'm not going to consider myself part of the 300 until I get all these three S's mastered. He said he had them mastered, but he kind of fell off a little bit. So now he's getting his shit back together to get back on track with the three S's. Then he's going to join us in the 300 again. And sight that takes a lot of fucking integrity to come forward and say that. A lot of people, you know, will just say, I'm part of the 300, out, and, and, but not behind closed doors. They know that they're not following the standards of the 300. You know what I'm saying? So I, I take my fucking head off to you. I salute you, my nigga. And you do have the support of all of AO Nation, myself included, um, to get your shit where you need to have it at, my nigga. Real talk. And that's that's really what like I wanna do this shit like this. This is you guys' chance to speak to me, holler at me, let me know what's going on with you, however, however. Um if like I said, if you don't want it mentioned or whatever like that, you wanna have a conversation with me, you can go to the Instagram, you know what I'm saying, and holler at me or the the, the Facebook, but like I said the Facebook you might get the wrong one. But just keep hitting them until I respond. Because I respond to all my messages every day. Every day. 
um, if you say something to me about any issue you have, as long as you don't, you know, and if you remember, I do do those, um, the counseling sessions, um, $50 an hour, whatever like that, we'll speak, and I'll give you my advice on whatever situation you're going through. You know what I'm saying? So, um, salute to you, my nigga. Salute to you. Um, he says, I appreciate you, appreciate you teaching the people on UCC law. And of course, I don't know what UCC means. And then Site L comes back again and says, for the team. Site, salute my nigga. Um, Manuel S. Limo Ortiz. Um, shout out to all of my fucking um, Spanish. Um, any fucking Guamanian, Puerto Rican, any Spaniard, any just everybody and anybody who can listen to me speak and understand that I'm not speaking from a place of racism. I can only speak from my experience. Um, I will be taking, I, I will be taking sometimes I will you know go crazy and shit like that but it's because it's of what I've seen what I've been through I don't judge any man or any woman off the color of how's it going that's how everything starts I'm not uh, no it's not how it's rocking you have my respect until you prove yourself unworthy of it period so Shout out to all of my um, supporters of all races and nationalities. But Manuel says, Manuel Ortiz says, uh, I'm a first time supporter. Manuel, I hope that this is first and, and first of many. You understand? Um, and that's been this um, episode of the AO Nation Donation Conversation. Um, a lot of first timers in there. I like to see that. Um, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep on moving. Um, we, As long as we keep everything respectful, um, I don't mind being challenged as long as the challenge comes from a place of respect. Um, we're all grown, so we know um, if we're saying something that could be taken a negative way. And if I don't mean you any harm and I don't mean you any disrespect, I'm going to make sure that I, I word what I'm saying to you, my disagreement, Especially if I know that you don't know who I am, I'm gonna make hey man, look, I'm not none of them. I'm truly asking you a question. Furthermore, I'll nigga, I'll go to your Instagram and ask you behind the scenes. Dog, I think you are wrong about that Federal Reserve. Dog, I think you are wrong about dog, I think you are wrong. I get it all the time and it's fine. We can talk educate me. I'm just speaking from my perspective that I saw it where I was in the world. You understand? I wasn't at, you know, um, at the Twin Towers when it happened. I was in 7th, 8th grade in Coach Cleveland class, and that's all I saw was through the news. You understand? Now, I'm not sure how much that matters, being that I'm grown now and I can do my own research. I guess it, it doesn't matter where you were at that time. But if I'm, I'm saying that that's my perspective. So if the news told me, if the, uh, my TV said um, only one tower fell, or, you know, whatever the fuck you might have said, that was incorrect. I can, I'm only telling you what I saw, but then of course now I can do my research and find out. Um, but just understand someone else's perspective. I'm extremely open uh, when it comes to, you know, ways of the world. Uh, shot to uh, Prince Castro. Um, this nigga hit me up all the time and, and let me know um, a lot of black history. Um, my alias man, he always hit me up and let me know about um, government conspiracy. I got too many people that talk to me about a whole bunch. Risk taker, he always put me up on a whole bunch of shit. Katrina, you know, just like so I'm open to people's opinion. Just as long as you have one and you're respectful with it, let's talk, man. Come on, man. I ain't nobody without y'all. We rocking out. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.